Currently, in Montreal it's 19 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. And please like and subscribe to Jonathan's channel. Today Jonathan would like to make a video about designing your perfect life. You have a great day you amazing people. <laughs> well, I didn't expect this to work so well. I think that means that I have to tell you that I just used AI to start this video. I'm not sure how that works. Let's talk about designing your perfect life. You know, when you have an idea of who you could become or something you could create, whatever is the idea, big or small, you plan your idea, you execute your idea, and then you start the process all over again with a new idea. It's pretty simple on paper. The problem is it's all those little in-betweens during the process. You know, those little existential questions that spread in your mind. Is my idea any good? Am I good enough to do this? Will I fail? Will I succeed? Maybe I'm just wasting my time. Who am I kidding? That's probably too hard for me to do. And what are people are gonna think about me? Now tell me, how do we bypass those thoughts and get going? Anything you try to design is a love-hate relationship, whether it be your confidence, style, your personality, your body, your health, art, your bank account, your perfect life. It's almost like you need to get frustrated during the process in order for your full potential to unlock, to get it going and make it happen. Frustration has always been a part of my creative process in anything I do. Uh, and trust me, I would avoid it if I could. But with experience, now I know that when I start getting frustrated, when I'm getting that creative anxiety, creative. that means that usually something good is gonna come out of what I'm doing. I just need to get pushing and get through that phase. design my ideal body, I wanted to design my health. So I started eating better, exercising, living a better lifestyle. And at the beginning, it made me feel like I was weak. I was not disciplined. It was hard. I had to quit certain things that I loved in order to regain control of myself. And it took a while before I started feeling better, feeling stronger, like I had my shit together. I wanted to design my world. I wanted to create my paintings. I wanted to be able to put what I saw in my head on canvases. Trust me when I say that I wasted a lot of canvases, wasted a lot of paint and a lot of money. It made me feel like I wasn't good enough, doubting myself if I really had the talent for this. Before, I started being happy with my work and proud to show it off. I wanted to design a mindset that would serve me better in my life and serve other people. So I started reading books learning every day, recording videos, trying to put my thoughts together. And for me, trust me, it's, it's a real challenge. And it did make me feel really stupid. Like I didn't know anything. It felt so awkward before feeling that I actually got smarter, more confident. I am trying to film this while lining up my next painting. It's, it's really not easy. Maybe that's a proof that I really can't do two things at once. Yeah, let's, let's do that. And I could go on with many more examples on how I design my life. To design your perfect life, it's gonna take time, skill, trial, error, moments of feeling super inadequate, like you're a dumbass, insecure, but that's all normal. It's all part of the process. But why is it so hard to keep pushing, to keep creating, to make those ideas that you have in your head your reality? Well, I believe it to be the perceived idea of yourself of not being able to achieve the idea that you're thinking of. Remember all those what if? The more you repeat them to yourself, the more you start believing in them. I know it was my problem and I'm still struggling with that every time I try something new. But now that I've realized what was holding me back, it was just easy to do that little tweak in my mindset. Made it easier to get over those existential questions. And it's okay to have those thoughts, those existential questions. We all have them, but you can't let that stop you from starting something or advancing in your life. Existentialism is a productivity killer. And the one thing that changed everything for me is the realization that where I'm at now in my life, who I am as a person, it's all of my doing. It's all my design, the good and the bad. Taking accountability for everything that I am made me realize that I have the power to design my perfect life. It's just a matter of being patient, following the steps, focusing on what's important, not to get overwhelmed. And when you have an idea, whatever that idea is, 
do it. Whatever that idea is, do it. Now, obviously, I'm not suggesting that you go do all the stupid ideas that come to your head. I'm sure you're an intelligent person and you can discern a good idea from a bad idea. If you think that the idea you have can help serve other people, can make you move forward in your life, can make you healthier, you should definitely try those ideas. Also, when you have an idea, instead of looking and thinking of only the negative, the doubts, what wrong could happen, focus on what you can control. Your ability to learn, your ability to create, to be patient, to adapt, to think. You have the power to design your perfect life. That, I'm sure. Now, maybe you don't believe me. Well, you know, why don't you just try it? See what happens. <laughs>